Question is, can I use my Fresnel lens setup to boil water in this Eola pile from my earlier video rapidly enough to make enough steam to make it spin? I don't know. We're going to give it a try. Let's see what we can see what happens. I've got a fishing hook swivel for fishing here, and it's pretty good at uh, not too much friction there, which is what we need. So, if we ever get any steam coming out of the nozzles, it should spin. I used my standard Fresnel lens setup with it uh, oriented towards the sun, focused down on this Eola pile. Uh, oriented there, we show it how it's perpendicular to the sun. Problem is, it only focuses on the top part of this. That's not going to work. As you'll see in just a second here, that's a really big problem. Water's down here, it heats up here. Here's what happened. It got so hot on top, it melted the solder in my fitting. Obviously, not going to work. I thought a diagram might make it a little easier to uh, describe what we're doing here. This is a Fresnel lens, my 500 millimeter diameter Fresnel lens, oriented with grooves side up in a conventional configuration where the sun's coming down on top of it. We're focusing sunlight down onto some object. In this case, my uh, Eola pile from my earlier uh, video and uh, some work I was doing. Um, but you can see the problem here. Uh, the water is down here in the bottom of this thing. The heat's coming in at the top. And this just not going to work too well. In fact, uh, it gets so hot up here on top, the solder I used uh, to uh, hold this brass fitting in there melted and it came out and was a uh, failure. Actually, I replaced the solder with a JB Weld steel, which works really pretty well. It's good up to about 550 degrees F. And I put JB Weld on these fittings, on these uh, locations here and here and up there. So, um, but uh, what I wanted to show you is, I said, okay, how can I deal with that? So I had this idea of taking an ordinary window glass uh, mirror here. They're typically about 95% efficient or so. And uh, position it so that the sunlight, when the uh, sun's up pretty much vertically uh, uh, around noontime, hits the mirror, comes in, hits the Fresnel lens with groove sides towards the incoming uh, sunlight. Be, and this way, be able to focus more towards the lower half of this uh, Eola pile. And, uh, and that should work a lot better. So, as you will see, we were able to do this. And as a matter of fact, uh, this actually still got focused hot enough that I could easily catch cardboard on fire uh, in full sun. So, uh, the concept of the mirror and the Fresnel lens really worked very well. Here's my setup. The sun is almost almost straight up. It's coming from that angle. So the sun is coming down, hitting this mirror, reflecting towards the Fresnel lens. So what I'm trying to do is redirect this focused uh, solar energy so that I can come out horizontally and do some things with it that's not so easy with a normal setup for the for the Fresnel lens. So what we're gonna do is we'll take a look at this. It's a partly cloudy day. Um, right now, a little bit of clouds behind the sun, but I've got the groove side of the Fresnel lens towards the mirror. Uh, so the sunlight's coming down, hitting the mirror, hitting the groove side of the Fresnel lens. Focal length should be about 19 and three quarter inches, 500 milliliters, millimeters beyond that. So we're gonna see what happens here. Oh yeah, no problem. It is working. So now the focal, the focus sunlight's coming this way. And uh, so I'm doing that for a reason. I got some experiments I want to do, but this is just a way that you can do that. Seven having to focus the sunlight down towards the ground with your Fresnel lens, you can use a mirror. And this is just an ordinary, just an ordinary glass mirror. Nothing special about it. We probably lose a little bit of efficiency with it. I think most of them are about 95%, but it does work. So, okay. 
This is what can happen if you walk away from your Fresnel lens in the middle of a sunny day. Sunlight was focused that way towards the hill. It was enough to catch it all on fire. Actually, I think the real culprit here was that test piece of cardboard. Probably was on fire when I walked away from this and lit the bank on fire. Not good, so you really gotta be careful with these Fresnel lenses. Okay, it's about 12.30 on the 23rd. I get the mirror in place here. Got my Eola pile hanging there a little bit beyond the focal point. We can see here. I got tried to focus it on the bottom part of that because I got about 50 milliliters of distilled water in the bottom of that. Let's see if it'll heat up and spin. Since the relative position of the sun and the sky to this mirror and this Fresnel lens changes, I'll have to keep up with this thing. You can hear the water boiling. It's doing something. It's heating it up. It's turning slowly. But it takes so much energy to boil water. I think that's the issue. Even though this this uh, focused sun off the Fresnel lens will easily catch something on fire to boil even a small amount of water takes a lot of energy. So, so water is coming out of the, of the nozzles. It's condensed steam dripping out. Don't know if it's going to actually uh, be able to put enough energy into it to uh, a high enough power level to actually boil it continuously. The uh, eel pile is, I think, too massive for the amount of energy. That's hot, boy touching the tips of those nozzles they are scalding hot so probably has steam coming out it's just not very fast i think it's working but it's just very very slow the other problem i have is so hot out here the iphone will stop working due to heat those nozzles are scalding hot but i just don't think it's going to feel put enough energy into it to boil it continuously Heat of vaporization of water is high. It's around 540 calories per gram. Either a much larger Fresnel lens or a much smaller Eola pile would be required to make this uh, concept work here. Because a Fresnel lens is capable of focusing a lot of light to a very small point, and you're getting it very hot where you can easily start a fire, just like this match. You can easily start a fire, burn cardboard, start something else on fire. Uh, however, um, that does work, but try to boil a pot of water with it. Just simply not enough energy in a short amount of time to do it. So you just always have to keep that in mind when you're boiling water, like with this uh, Eola pile we were trying to do. It's not a lot of water in there, but way more than enough. I just couldn't do it, even though, even though the Fresnel lens was hot enough to catch cardboard on fire. There's no way there was enough power to boil this fast enough to spin it. Just a slight amount just coming out of the nozzle. So anyway, keep that in mind when you're doing these kind of projects. Uh, what I've got to look at now, is it worth it to me to redesign this uh, to something that uh, will work with that uh, Fresnel lens setup I have? And I'll take a look at that. So please stay tuned. Uh, subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Like the video. And uh, we hope you'll check out our other links. Thank you very much.